message by National Women's Front. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. When can women travel without fear? Once in Medina, a woman who came to a marketplace for making some ornaments faced indecent behavior from some men. They repeatedly asked her to remove her face cover while she was sitting in the jewelry, but she refused to do so. A Jewish man among them secretly tied one edge of her dress to a hook. Soon she was unveiled while she stood up. Men who saw this laughed and the helpless woman screamed loudly. Following this, the problem became more complicated. But Jews stood firmly at the side of offenders by protecting them. Finally, people who caused to break the brotherhood between Jews and Muslims through the insulting woman were isolated and deported and thrown out of Medina. Dear ones, Day by day, we are hearing heartbreaking news of atrocities against women. Now, our nation has become notorious in the world for atrocities against women. One girl will be tearfully mourning somewhere in India every 15 minutes for being raped her. According to National Crime Bureau, Average 100 women are being raped in India every day. Last year, 32,000 rape cases were reported in India. We can guess the cases not registered would be many folds. Why are such atrocities happening continuously? There is one important reason for that. That is the liberal approach of our authorities are following towards such atrocities. Why do the rulers and judiciary not care about women and children who are not secure? Why representatives, police and government agencies stand with such scoundrels? Women themselves need to step out to stop this kind of situation. Is it the women who are half of people in India? What if women decide to not allow these kind of fate to our girls? What if we make a strong united struggle? Definitely, that will make a history. We must fight for a time and a land where no evil eyes or hands rises against a woman. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, teaches us the concept of a welfare state in Islam where women can travel from one side to another side without fear. Yes, the standard of a country is basically about the safety of women there. If women are safe, then the standard is high, otherwise there is no place for human dignity. We need to work for a time at a country where women do not have to endure humiliation and disgrace. If you like our video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe our YouTube channel Women's Voice.